Praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Wahhaba Kakwadash. In Hebrew, that's giving all praises to the Most High Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, along with the Holy Spirit, who taught us His truth, honors to the brethren that's laboring and doing the work to push the gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect which would be the true Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, who will be turned back to this word, to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, during these final moments, so they will have mercy on us in judgment. So we back with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahash and Yahweh Shah. And I'm gonna title this lesson, that the Lord uses people like chess pieces there is no free will and this lesson was motivated by a statement that i heard an edomite say to me and what it was we was exchanging information he was showing me what he believed i was showing him the truth and i told him some things and his conclusion was this you know he told me so you're saying Pretty much that God uses people like chess pieces and he moves them wherever he pleases and he was disgusted as he was saying it like that's a disgusting thing that the most high just use people like chess pieces uses them as he pleases but that's absolutely correct you know that that was the perfect assessment there's no better way that that could have been said now we're going to do a lesson and show just that. The Lord moves people around like chess pieces. So the first scripture we're going to start off with will be Ecclesiasticus, also known as Syrac, chapter 18 and 3. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand. What's another word for govern? To control. So he controlled the whole world with the palm of his hand. The things here in the earth and beyond everything we see everything we don't see and all things obey his will yeah all things obey his will from the angels to Satan these wicked spirits our thoughts our actions it all obeys the will of the Heavenly Father so this cuts the idea that the holy angels rebelled in heaven and got kicked out Everything obeys his will, even Satan himself, for he is the king of all. That's why one of the many titles of Yahweh Shah would be King of Kings, Lord of Lords. By his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. So yeah, he go over the whole world in his hands and everything obeys his will. So there is no free will. You don't have your own will. Your will is the will that was given to you from above. And we could really end the lesson here, but we're going to get deeper. So now we're going to go to the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21. He changeth the times and the seasons. He changeth literal times and seasons. But this is specifically talking about the rise and fall of empires. Let's continue. He removeth kings and set of up kings. For so, yeah, the Lord will build up empires and he will bring down empires. You know, such as the Roman Empire, the Egyptian Empire, the Babylonian Empire. All those kingdoms have fallen. So will America. And the Lord will build up and set up new kings in the new kingdom, such as the kingdom of Israel the building up of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. We're being set up um, to be the next kings of the earth. He give of wise, he give of wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. So part of kings being set up, they're given a certain wisdom, certain knowledge, and certain understanding that elevates them above other people 
to cement them as the new rulers of the earth. So yeah, when kings are being set up, they're given certain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And vice versa, when the Lord is going to remove kings, just like he can give wisdom, he can take wisdom. So all the other previous empires that failed, because the Lord took their wisdom, knowledge, and understanding away. And that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding was given to another people. Hey, and that's all done by the will of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah. You remember, he governed the whole world with the palm of his hand. All things obey his will. And so, too, we're going to go to the book of Proverbs 21 and 1. And let me backtrack real quick. Just like the Lord can remove kings and set up kings, well, the Lord can do that with lesser people as well. So your average citizens, and the Lord can remove them and set them up as well. Meaning, he, you know, he can um, elevate them or he could bring them low. You know, but the point here, why the word focus on the kings of the earth? Because the people in power, the kings, you will see them as being above the law. Untouchable, not affected by the world around them. But the Lord is showing even the top people of the earth bend at his will. All right, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. And what, what's the king's heart? What's your heart? Your mind, your spirit. So even your mind, your spirit, your inner thoughts, it's in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Perfect example when you think about Pharaoh during the time of the Exodus. It said countless times that the Lord hardened his heart. So if anybody resists, if anybody's heart is hardened, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah made them do it. Same people who harden their hearts when it come to hearing his word. The Lord is making them harden their heart. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah controls both sides of the spectrum. For example, when you are powerful, you don't just control the side of righteousness. When you are powerful, you control the side of wickedness as well. So the king's heart, the Lord turneth it whithersoever he will. The Lord is the control of the thoughts of the kings, they actions. He's going to make them bend to his will. And again here, the Lord is focusing on the kings. So how much more lesser people, common citizens, you know, the more common people, you know, again, because the kings, those in power, you will view them as being untouchable, unaffected by the world around them, above the law. You know, that they appear to do what they want. But no, nah, they do what the Most High wants them to do. So even the kings, the top people on the earth, the Lord got them in the palm of his hands. He moved the top people with his fingertips as well as the lesser people. And when we go to the book of Proverbs 16 and 9, a man's heart deviseth his way. But the Lord directed his steps. So, yeah. A, a, the king's heart, a man's heart, is in the hand of the Lord. So, a man's heart divides of his way. So, your inner thoughts, you may have your own reasoning or own thoughts for doing something. You know, that's your reasoning. Your heart divides in your way. But that reasoning, your inner thoughts, was given to you from above. So you might say, you know what? I'm going to go here and do this. I'm going to do this for that reason. I'm going to do this for that reason. That's your heart devising, devising its own way. Hey, but the Lord gave you that heart, that reasoning, 
to think that way. But the Lord directed his steps. So you might say, you know, I'm going to go do this at this time for this reason. I'm going to do that. Hey, that's the Lord giving you your own reasoning to fulfill his to fill his to fulfill his will from above. The Lord ultimately directed your steps. But the Lord is going to give you thoughts and reasoning to direct you to do what he wants you to do. Lord would and I said that in a way that made sense. But Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. So the, 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 the thoughts, the reasoning, the actions, the steps that a man take is not of himself. It's, a, it's, it's of above. Because remember, a king's heart, your thoughts, your reasoning, your actions is in the hand of the Lord. It's the Lord who controls your fate, your destiny. And the Lord is going to direct your steps to that destiny. Therefore, your own ways is not of yourself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Yeah. So it's not us that's walking, directing our steps as we're walking. It's Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai directing our steps for the good and evil. He can direct your steps to come to this truth, or he can direct your steps to have you in the wrong place at the wrong time to get hit by a stray bullet. Your destiny, your faith is in the palm of the hand of the Lord. When something is in your palm, you got a full grip on it. You got full control of it versus if you only hold it something by the fingertips. You're not in full control of it. You know, you can lose grip of it. It could slip out of your hand. Well, nothing can slip away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And just going back, that's uh well, and that's why I said the whole world is in the palm of his hand. He got a firm, strong, unbreakable grip on the world and everybody therein. Now going to Romans. 9 and 19. It reads, Thou will say unto them, Why doth he yet find fault? This is the point. For who hath resisted his will? So nobody can resist the will of Yahweh by Simi Shah. He got a full grip a firm grip on your heart, your thoughts, your actions, your steps, your destiny is in his hand. There is no free will. See, that's the doctrine of philosophy of Esau, the so-called white man. He taught you, you can do what you want. You can do what makes you happy. You can do whatever you want to do. Well, you doing what you want to do, just know that the Lord gave you the thoughts, the ideas, what you want to do. The Lord gave you your likes and dislikes. You know what I'm saying? Your your day to day, the way you plan out your day, you know, rather your day go as planned or it don't go as planned. You know, the Lord is directing your steps and and, and devising your way in the way. Is, and and that's that's the power of the Lord. He he gave you an illusion that you in control, but you actually not. That's cold. But again, Romans nine and nineteen, who have resisted His will, and then the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach thirty three and thirteen, as the clay. It's in a potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like of him best. Who's the clay? That would be man. Who's the potter? That would be the most high. So man is in the palm of the, most, of the hand of the most high. He's going to render, fashion 
make you as he sees fit. That's why Esau Edom was created to be the wicked. They can't question that. They can't go against that. That's why the scriptures say, can the thing made say to him that made it, what well, thou doest? Somebody that designed the car, the car can't ask the person who made it, why did you make me into a car? Why did you make me this way? Why didn't you give me six wheels instead of four? Same way with man. You can't question Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah. He made you as he saw best to, to, to fit his, to fulfill his will. Uh, so now we're going to hit Revelation 4 and 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. <clears throat> so all things was created for the pleasure, for the will of Yahweh by Sin Yahweh Shah, the righteous, the wicked, the good, the bad, the good, the evil. All things was created for his pleasure. You know, he's in full control of everything. So yeah, Yahweh by Sin Yahweh Shah does move people around like chess pieces you know according to his pleasure there is no free will the lord gave you the illusion of free will you think you're directing your own steps you think you're coming up with your own thoughts and own reasoning no your steps that you're taking your thoughts and your reasoning that's in your heart it's all given to you from above Think of it like this, like a video game character. The video game character appear to be a moving on his own, but it's actually you that's controlling the character on the screen. You're making the character do what you want to do. And that character in the video game can't do nothing outside of that. Hey, same thing with man compared to the most high. Can't no man in the earth do anything that's outside of what the Most High tells us to do. Alright, but that's it for this lesson here. Until next time, Shalom.